Holy shit. That is an eight pounder, dude. Look at the mouth. Oh my god. I think it's huge. Holy. Yo. Okay, I'm gonna go release her. What a beautiful fish. Oh my god, that fish is huge. Look at that mouth. I can't believe how big this thing is. Just have to resuscitate it. I had her out of the water for a while because it was just kind of hard to like um, get the hook out. I was struggling. She should be good though. Just gonna probably take a second. It's okay, girl. You got this. Always release your fish, man. I cannot stress that enough. And try to take better, best care of them as you can when you actually have them. Crap, I need to get to deeper water so I can like do the S maneuver on her. There's hella shit right here. Come on, girl, you got this. Come on. There she goes. Holy moly, man. I was only here for 30 minutes. You know, I walked out here, saw some other guys and said, hey, you know, how's it going? I was like, hey, like, look at this weather. You know, a little wind, a little cloud cover, warm weather. This place is newly flooded. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm, hey, let's hope one of us catches a big one because I knew, like, this is the right weather for it. Dude, I wasn't even here 30 minutes. You know, I was throwing chatterbait, wake bait, no luck. Yeah, I pitched. I started just pitching a little, um, a little black and blue craw. I'm not a huge fan of the band, uh, the Guggen Squad, but I do use their soft plastics. I started pitching it around. I think I cast it maybe three times, and that fish hit. Now, I've never caught a fish that big. I've never caught anything over about 6.5, right? That fish hit so hard that it literally knocked like two feet of slack into my line. Like, I kid you not. I've had fish hit my line where it jumps like crazy and other things, but... This fish wanted that cross so bad. I look down and there's like a good foot of line just dangling from my reel to the first guide by how much slack that fish knocked into the line. I mean, wow, I, I had no idea how big it was gonna be until I set the hook and I just saw this gigantic head because I, I hit him pretty hard. So I, you know, knocked its head up. I saw that fish and it just dived, man. My drag was going, I put my thumb on the spool to stop him. And then I had to get him through that. Absolute gunk, muck, sticks. <sighs> that was a beautiful fish. And it weighed eight on the dime. Eight on the dime. So that was pretty damn, pretty damn amazing. And what's good, what's nice to know, is my hook wasn't coming out. As you can see, I actually had to cut the whole barb of the hook to get the hook out of the fish's mouth. It felt kind of bad. I had it out of the water for a second trying to get this hook out. Eventually, I just had to cut the cut the hook to get it out. I mean, it was pinned well. Um, so yeah, I released her. She swam off so, uh, strong. I didn't lay her down or anything, so her slime coat should be good. Um, but dude, there are big fish in here. So this place is gonna stay healthy. I'm hoping as long as nobody takes them home. So always, uh, excuse me, always release your fish, especially at beautiful spots like this. Anyways, thanks for checking it out. That fish was amazing. I hope everyone here catches their PB this year. I'm going to be going in for hernia surgery sometime soon here, so I probably won't be able to fish for a couple months or, you know, a month or two. Whoever sees this, go catch some big ones. All right, good stuff, you guys. Take care.